So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Gibson, and he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Gibson, the ball carrier. Tackled by Samson Abukum. From the gun on third down, Smith got an open man, finds Gibson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's good for a Washington. The passing game continues to be their friend. Even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles, they're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a handoff here to his running back. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. He's tackled at two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. It's second and eight. Operating from the gun, Smith. And that is intercepted by the Pro Bowler, Jalen Ramsey. There he goes, left side. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. Well, don't change that channel just yet. This one may have gotten a bit more interesting. Put down the remote, put down the clicker. This one looked like it was over. It looked like they were ready to seal the deal. But in doing so, by pitching it around a little bit, it cost them. We could have a great finish. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. They'll try and throw for it. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets them back within a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And now this fourth quarter becoming very interesting. That pick six makes this a one-score game. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how aggressive they choose to be. Fresh off the pick six, it's Smith. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here, second and a yard from the 34. 34-yard line. Gets it to Gabriel on the jet sweep. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That's good. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. At the 35-yard line. On first and 10, Smith. That's caught by Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. They give him 16 yards there, and it's a Washington first down. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. A gain of six there on first. Pickup brings up second and four at the Rams' 43-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Play action, it's Smith. Right side caught by Jackson. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 
seven yards there at a first down. First and ten at the 36-yard line. To the air again, Smith. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Three yards the game there, second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. At the Smith throwing again. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 28. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Well, they're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. Instead of being able to shut the door, it's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. The only people are really happy about those picks, any fantasy team that has this defense. L.A. readies for its next possession. A golden opportunity for them now following the interception. They need to try to at least get three. Obviously, a touchdown puts them in a much more secure position. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. The pass. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It's a gain of five, brings up second and five at the 31-yard line. Now a throw here, hauled in, and he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Seven, first down, Rams. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. This is caught, and he's brought down after a very nice game. The play began back at the 23, and they pick up 23. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it, but the truth of the matter is that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. Leads to second and goal. They'll look to run with Akers. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. This would be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. What a stand this would be if they can get the stop here, third and goal. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun, to the end zone, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. A 21-yard attempt. Gay's kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. And now trotting back out with the rest of his offensive mates, the big tight end. So after he looked really good early, they haven't been able to find the big tight end as much. What gives? Well, sometimes that's not in the game plan defensively. They're trying to take away other people, or they weren't expecting him to get off to such a hot start. But now, 
<laughs> they know he's out there. They've made a few adjustments, surround him with a few more people, a few different coverages. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now. Does he change up a few things to try and work his way open? Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Terry McLaurin, incomplete. Throwing on third down, Smith. Oh, he may have gotten lucky. Tried to dump it off underneath on the check down. Nearly picked instead it's incomplete. The defense did their job. Fourth quarter, big stand. No doubt about it because the offense has been yelling at him from the sideline. Just do us a favor. Get us the ball back. Give us one more chance to take it downfield. The defense just did them a solid, it appears. And when they get the ball back, they can kind of play free tie game. They're not behind. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Ooh, with a juke. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. L.A. set to take over again on offense. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run a draw now with Akers. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. Akers, and that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third. They'll set up a throw. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. His goal line here, Smith. Here's Moss with a catch out of the backfield. And they'll get him down right around the 11 yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Out from the shadows of their goal line. Here's first and 10 from the 11. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. A gain of two brings up second and eight. At the They'll keep it on the ground. Gibson. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Second and 
Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. The pass. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. He'll dump this off to Akers. The pass. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. And five. At the 40 on second down, Akers and tackled down after a gain of three leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. We'll check on his status when we get back. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. They'll run it here with Brown. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. They go right back to the ground here in Brown. And this carry terminated at the 8-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. It's a 7-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And it is good! He splits the uprights on the chip shot, and the Rams have won the game! Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So for the Rams, their strong September has carried over to October as they move to 5-0. And, oh. and they'll get another road test next week as they have to go to Santa Clara to take on the 49ers. Meanwhile, for Washington, they drop below 500 to 2-3 and three with a loss. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to MetLife Stadium to take on the New York Giants. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.